Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Okay, so this tutorial came about purely because I was trying to be thrifty and I was trying to think of a way not to use as much product with pigments, etc. Because to get this look ordinarily, you would have to complete all nails with your pigment and then seal with your top coat and stamp on the top. But I've sort of come up with a new way which may enable you to use less product because as we all know these holochromes can be quite expensive so you don't want to be wasting any of that hollow goodness. So I'm going to get straight on to what I used. I am using my Big Red from Dixie Plates and that's a clear stamper and then I'm going to be using a few stamping polishes but for the black I'm using this one by Painted Polish and I think it's called midnight mischief and then I'm using a couple of Dixie plates 04 and 08 and I think these negative space designs work really well because when you put your holochrome on it's going to take on the negative space flowers but you can use any image just bear in mind which part is going to be stamped and which part is going to be holochrome and for the holochrome I am using Aurora which is from Magpie Beauty and then I thought I'd also try Tiara out as well which is like a chrome. So I'm using a few random colours here but all you need to do is apply one to two coats of your colour and then go in with your no wipe top coat or your normal tacky top coat and remove the sticky with a dry wipe. So once your base is ready, you can just go in with your stamping. So I'm stamping black on black, so it might be a little bit hard to see, but then this is where the magic comes in. I'm going to take Aurora and a soft makeup wedge spongy thing, and then just rub this on, and this is where the magic happens, and you can just see the flowers appearing. And obviously it isn't magic, it's just sticking to the parts where the no wipe top coat is peeping through the stamping. And a little tip once you've applied it, take the clean edge of the makeup sponge and make sure you get rid of all that excess on the remaining black stamping polish as you don't want that on there when you come to top coat. But just look how gorgeous that looks. And when it's top coated, it looks even more amazing. So on the remaining nails, I thought I'd match the base colours with the stamping polish. You don't have to do this, you can just go straight along all the colours with the black. But I just thought it'd be fun just to stamp the same colour on the same colour. So this is the pink one and I will leave links to all of these stamping polishes in the description box below. And then the lilac on the lilac and then the orange on the orange. But yeah, you can do black on the colours. And then what you'll have is the coloured flowers coming through the black. So you can just mix and match and do whatever you like. So on the pink one, I thought I'd use Tiara and it gives it a really nice pinky chrome effect at the end. And then I think I used Aurora on the rest of the nails. And I have to say, the lilac one is my favourite, just, oh my god, how cool does that look? And I love these colours. How nice are they going to be for summertime? And then on the pinky, I'll just finish with the black because it's like magic. So I am going to clean these up and top coat. And then these are the finished results. And I think you must use less product this way because for a start, you're not having that extra layer of top coat in between the stamping and the pigment because you're stamping straight onto your base colour. I just think it's such a cool and fun way of applying the pigment. So I really hope you enjoyed this one guys. Try it out, tag me in your designs, post on my Facebook page, whatever you like and tell me if you've got any different colour combos or you know 
and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!